Good evening. What's going on there, guys? It is the Earthmaster here on this Wednesday, October 5th, 2022 date. It is about 8.23 p.m. California time out here along the West Coast. A 1.2 earthquake down in Southern California. It looks to be the latest earthquake there on the map. Uh, seeing a little bit of activity kind of ramp up here into the South America region. Getting quite a few twos and threes there in the area. Also a little bit of activity here around the western por or uh, eastern portion of the Philippine plate. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS map. Uh, start off down here in the South America region. Of course, we did see that 5.8 earthquake strike out there. Uh, this one occurring overnight last night into the Peru and Ecuador border region. Down there at about 48 kilometers deep. Remember the earthquake 3D globe showing quite a few clusters of earthquakes here in this region. And over the past week or so, we've seen a lot of deeper movement quakes down into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench. So watch this area closely for some possible larger movement. Did have a 5.0 in the South Sandwich Islands area coming in within the last, uh, about last hour and a half. Noticing a little swarm of movement here in the low five category. Down there, uh, stretching down there about 35 kilometers or, or so into that subduction area. A little bit of uptick movement down there. Uh, into the Puerto Rico area, getting a little bit of more uh, movement as well around the Puerto Rico Trench once again. Although the all-magnitudes map here doesn't add too much earthquake activity here listed. 3.4 and a 3.1 occurring earlier this afternoon time frame up around the Puerto Rico Trench. Uh, Texas getting in on some activity once again. Looks like a 2.3 outside of the Pecos, Texas area. Oklahoma swarming up there as well. Appreciate the comment there far as the uh, facility that's out there. I was kind of wondering what uh, is listed up here on the map where this earthquake activity is taking place. There is some fracking operations taking place here near the uh, Minco. Minco, Minco, I believe that's correct. There's some uh, oil and pumping operations out here, but I was kind of wondering what this was, and someone told me that it's a slaughterhouse. Uh, that comment was just posted onto my previous video here, so I appreciate the uh, the comment. I had no clue exactly what it was, but it's some type of facility out there next to all those earthquakes. Further up north, off of the Kingfisher area, we did see some activity as well. The satellite view shows us quite a few fracking or uh, uh, injection well facilities, oil pumping operations. That's what these are right here. And we're talking within feet of one another. These earthquakes are popping up. And uh, that's only going to continue, folks. There's thousands upon thousands, not only in Oklahoma, but Texas, uh, New Mexico, portions of Kansas. All those areas are eventually going to start showing quite the uptick in earthquake activity uh, as the years progress. Let's see what we got here for the uh, west coast. Eh, kind of lighten up a little bit, looks like, down south here. Off of the uh, San Andreas Fault, north of Riverside. Got a 1.0 near the Loma Linda area and also some movement down south. Uh, just off of the um, San Jacinto Fault zone here. 0.8 near the Ocotello Wells area. Nothing major going on along the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault tonight. She currently sleeps. One day that will not be the case. Uh, a little bit of activity along the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault as well. Looks like we got a 1.7 into the uh, bay portions of the Bay Area near the Calaveras Fault Zone. Up north here, this is the Calpine Hydrothermal Operations out there. Pretty good cluster of earth uh, earthquakes today. Uh, up north, a little bit of movement outside of the Redding area, up into the mountains there of the Trinity Mountain area. Up north into the Oregon region here. Kind of watch for these little earthquakes popping off. I believe this one came in, um, oh, this came in earlier this afternoon time frame, a 1.7, 17 kilometers deep. Uh, it is kind of away from the uh, Cascades there, where we normally see quite a bit of microquake activity, but this one's closer. Uh, to the Cascadia subduction zone. Of course, there's other fault systems up here, but at 17 kilometers deep there, it's, uh, I believe that's a subduction zone quake. So movement on the Seattle Fault as well near the Navy Yard, Navy Yard City, Washington. Never heard of it, 
Also, Devil Mountain's fault, uh, showing a 2.2 in heaven. Sweet heaven, Washington. Let's check out the trimmer map tonight. Well, not a whole lot going on. I think these guys are putting out the data late. Uh, and it's 8.30 p.m. West Coast time here, but it's not up, not listed. I've noticed that they're getting later and later with the report, so we'll check back tomorrow. Yesterday's timestamp here showed 494 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, almost entirely along the uh, entire section here of the Cascadia subduction zone. Kind of curious to see what it was today. I, I don't believe zero was the number, uh, but it's eventually they'll put it out. We'll have to check tomorrow morning for that. Uh, one earthquake way up north here into the Alaska near the Arctic Village. That just sounds awesome up there. I'm a I'm a cold weather type of guy, so. Give me the mountains and the tundra and the cold, frozen ground. I don't know how cold it is up there this time of year, but uh, it's going to be cold pretty soon. A little 2.2 up there. Uh, some movement throughout the Denali area and down along the Aleutian Trench as well. No major movement to report around this area of the Pacific Plate. One earthquake off the coast of Japan, a 4.8. And there's the other quake in the uh, northern Mariana Islands area, eastern portion of the Philippine Plate. Not a whole lot going on through the Tonga, New Zealand, or Fiji area. Things awfully quiet for the most part throughout that area. The rest of the world there, not a whole lot going on. The Yellowstone National Park map showing uh, still some uh, earthquake activity earlier this afternoon. This is from last night. Uh, still seeing a pretty good sequence of earthquakes here at Yellowstone National Park. Over the last hour or so, things have kind of died off. Uh, tremendously a couple of spikes still existing there with that swarm this has kind of been an ongoing sequence here for over a month now gonna watch it and see uh, how this plays out a lot of the uh, scientists and geologists claim that this is nothing more than uh, well snow melt ground runoff you know from extensive uh, monsoonal moisture and rains um, kind of soaking into the surface below and interacting and swelling with the uh, magma below so at least in certain areas uh, nothing more than inflation and and that uh, interaction with the groundwater and the heat according to the usgs so we will keep an eye on it solar weather activity tonight we're still waiting we're still waiting and watching uh, this a major sunspot 3112 it's a uh, it's a ginormous sunspot let me tell you and it's a uh, Man, if you look at it, it's almost taken up a quarter of uh, the sun, a quarter portion of the sun here. Maybe not quite that much, but eh, it's getting there. Uh, the polarities here are still awfully close and intermixing. It still harbors a pretty complex magnetic field along with this other newly joined sunspot region, uh, making this a good potential, I think, here for an X-flare. It is pretty much in view earth directed entirely not so probably this time tomorrow or maybe tomorrow morning this thing will be lined up a little bit further on the uh, uh, center disc of the sun with a bullseye shot uh, should ever, should anything pop off here and be earth directed uh, or it, it definitely be earth directed right now uh, let's see what the Probabilities are 25% chance for an X flare, 25% uh, 20 proton event possible. M flare at 55 and C flare around 95% chance. Haven't really seen any M flares recently except for a day or so ago. A couple days ago it looks like was our last M flare. We are still crackling here with some C flares. And um, don't know when it's going to happen. Can't really predict these things. We could just look at the complex uh, the complexity of the fields and kind of make a uh, uh, a guess a bit of, you know, as far as the percentages go with an X-Flare. It looks like they've dropped this a little bit to a 10% chance. It was at 20 uh, this morning. It does still harbor a Beta Gamma Delta class magnetic field. And uh, it's still noteworthy to watch because that uh, it, it could definitely pop off something here real soon. And it will be earth directed. Uh, let's see what else we got. No major coronal holes. We've got a little coronal hole here, 29, that had been facing Earth. I don't think that's going to create any major 
uh, adjustments here to the uh, three day, but uh, we'll watch that as well. Current KP, uh, KP index conditions there around the three level. And um, these guys gave out a little article today. I noticed the October 6th time frame, it's UTC. Um, solar activity was fairly quiet on Wednesday with a number of minor sea flares detected. AR3112, which is that big, super big sunspot, uh, showed small signs of de development around the leader spot as well as a trailing cluster of spots. However, the gap between the main center of sunspots and the regions to the east and west continue to grow. This would appear to be the main reason for the lack of magnetic instability. Although a delta is still present within the central portion of the group. Uh, with that said, an isolated moderate M flare will remain very possible with perhaps a much lower chance for a major X-class solar flare in the short term. Gotta watch it though. Definitely gotta watch it. Alright, let's see... Uh, yeah, a little bit of density uptick and some speed uptick, but nothing drastic or nothing major. Things just kind of uh, as is. They're on the uh, solar weather page. I'm going to check out the hazard notification system, see if we got a update yet on the uh, volcano out there, which we haven't. A volcano in Hawaii. Speaking of Hawaii, I did it again, didn't I? Kind of skipped it. Make a trip around the uh, the plates there and completely leave out Hawaii. There's not a whole lot going on right now. Uh, there was some swarm. There has been some swarming, I should say, over the past few days at Mauna Loa, uh, and typical movement down here in Pahala. 2.7 at 31 kilometers there on the uh, looks like northwestern side of the Big Island. This one's pretty deep though, at about uh, 31 kilometers for that 2.7. So just another spot we're watching. Uh, let's see. Anything else, folks? I think that's about it. Um, I don't believe there's any been any changes up here along the Aleutian Trench. All volcanoes still look as is. Quite a few green ones. And, of course, there's many, many unmonitored volcanoes out there. Quite a bit. Major hot spot there with that subduction zone and the... Uh, the uh, the buildup of volcanoes there over time but uh, nothing nothing major going on up there along the Aleutian Trench currently all right guys have a good night stay safe be prepared we will chat you guys a little bit later on have a good night guys